Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Daily Discraft. Uh, today I'll be talking about what discs I carry in my bag for the 2020 season and uh, what they do for me. Um, first off, we're going to start with uh, my drivers. Um, let's see. As far as uh, distance drivers go, I'm carrying um, three prototype uh, Kongs, Zeus, if you will, um, for just really big shots um, or hyzer skip shots, you know, things like that. I carry different molds just because um, this green, green one and this pink one right here are a little more flippy. And uh, this black one is more overstable. And then uh, I've got the actual actual run of the Zeus um, that I can get to flex and come back real nice. And uh, they're good for sidearms. They really hold real straight for a long time and, you know, slowly dump out. Um, those are as far as my 12 speeds go. Um, then my bomber discs that I have, um, I carry nukes. I can't figure out if this one is uh, TI or Big Z, but I'm pretty sure it's Big Z. Um, this one I can get a little flex out of it, going for a long way. Um, man, these discs, these discs go far. Um, uh, then I carry a big Z. I can kind of get a little bit more turn out of it. Um, and, uh, kind of more workable in my opinion. Uh, I can kind of place it almost where I want. And then I got an ESP nuke that some of uh, my buddy Sean from Blue Point Repair gave to me. Uh, really liking that thing. It's, uh something I know I can get a good grip on and just and just rip it um, then for sidearm like uh, shots I need to dump out real fast or uh, shoot even grenades um, I'm carrying a, the, the Z flex new nuke OS and uh, let's see here then, well, I lied. I got more 12 speeds. Um, this is a distance driver that I like that I can, if I want, want like pinpoint placement off the tee where I know it's going to land almost right in front of me where I threw it, is going to be the Punisher. Um, it says it's really overstable, but if I give it a good rip, I can get some flex and... Uh, and no, for a fact, it's coming back straight um, with not a lot of skip. And I've got another Z run right here that does pretty much the same thing. Um, I just carry two because you never know when you need a backup. Then my, I've got how many I got? Let's see, y'all. I carry three of the forces. For overstable shots, um, or if I want something to hold up in the wind, um, I got a Z run of the new uh, Paul McBeth run that I carry, and I'm really liking that thing because it's super reliable. And then uh, an ESP run, and another ESP run. So I'm really, I'm really liking these for. Uh, Hyzer shots over trees. Um, if I want a good force flex, <laughs> hence the force. Um, if I want to force it over just a little bit, I'll get a nice little flex line and then skip at the end. Um, so I bag three of these because I love them. Absolutely love them. And these are utility discs really for me. Um, 
If I want to lay down a nice roller that will hold straight in a tailwind, I'll reach for a big, big Z Thrasher. Um, just kind of lay over on it, trust it on a 45, and it'll stand up and just ride straight for probably 500 feet. Um, and then I carry an ESP that I've been working with. I love the stamp on that one. It's pretty. Um, but yeah, this one's a little more stable than that big Z yellow one. So if I want a tailwind rip shot on a hyzer, just pop up flat and just ride to the right, then that's the disc I'm reaching for. Then kind of a understable workhorse for me. Um, is another disc that Paul came out with, the uh, the Avenger SS. Um, really liking this thing for uh, like Anheuser turnover, um, just to lay it where I want it. And uh, really, like if I want a fast roller that's gonna finish hard and kind of short, I'll actually roll that. And then uh, my fairway drivers here, I carry two different vultures, an overstable vulture and a lighter weight vulture. Um, this one's going to hold straight and get a little flex out of it. And this one will get no flex with an overstable finish. Um, so, and I, I reach these things a lot because they go far and they just push. They push really far. So if I'm needing something to go far and I know I can trust it, almost like the uh, Punisher, I'll reach, reach for this with, not with, but for uh, more control. And then um, <clears throat> I'm carrying the Onyx here for uh, almost the same thing as a Vulture. It's pinpoint accuracy, but it's more of a overstable pinpoint accuracy. Um, if I'm needing something to get left and I know it's not going to get a lot of skip, I'm reaching for that one. And for sidearms, mainly sidearm, um, I'm reaching for this um, Sparkle Raptor here. Um, really, I really trust this thing for uh, just a good sidearm rip out towards the hole. If I want a forehand flex um, through the woods on a hole, I'll reach for the Raptor. Then my tunnel shot discs for straight tunnels. Uh, really anything I want to hold straight. I'm reaching for the ESP Undertaker. The uh, TI Undertaker. And another TI. This one is more understable. It's, it's been beat in a little bit. A different stability. Um, I can kind of work with it. And I... And I know for a fact it's definitely going to get some flip. Um, yeah, it's up to me on how much flip that gets. Uh, so let's move into mid ranges. Um, mid ranges are something for me. I mean, I throw disc crafts, so the buzz is going to be my go to. Um, the buzz is just a phenomenal disc. So. I really don't stray too far from it. But I like the ESP runs for grip, mainly. There's a nice pink one. Uh, really loving that. Thanks, Sean, from Blue Point Repair for hooking me up. Um, really loving this thing. So, there's my other buzz, the four time. I can't really seem to keep these in my bag because they get lost. <laughs> But anyways, I do love those. Um, and if I want my overstable, 
um, kind of flex shot buzz. I'm reaching for the Buzz OS. And then uh, my other mid range is for under stability. Oh man, I love these things. The Meteor. Meteor is something that is fast. It goes to the right, never comes back. And I also throw these on turnovers that are kind of short, shorter than say five or 400 feet. Um, I carry a first run, max weight, and a Z. I don't, I don't believe this one's max weight, but I can kind of turn it over more than the other one. Then, uh, then on my other mid ranges that are understable, kind of floaty, kind of hold straight. Um, I'll use it anywhere from 300 feet to Heiser flip 400 foot shot is the Comet. And, uh, this one right here is max weight and this is a Z that's not max weight that's a little bit more flippy so I really love these things too if you definitely if you're in the woods and as far as putters go I carry the uh, the Z zone um, it's it's a workhorse a flick up shot disc um, kind of I'll put in it with put in a headwind with it as well um, really love these things if you're not carrying these you're not doing it right trust me then move on to putters the money of the game I carry a Ledgestone Z ringer can't really see the stamp on it anymore um, love this thing for like an overstable upshot um, or a short hole that I might throw a little flex line on and the uh, sparkle roaches love these things these are more stable than a pro D they won't turn as much they'll hold straight carry two of those and my main go-to putter the Luna this is what I carry this nice over stable putter it's nice and tacky and this thing is money. Well, thanks guys for watching. And uh, thanks for tuning in to the Daily Disc Craft. And I just want to thank uh, a couple people who uh, have been on with me for the 2020 season. Blue Point Repair and uh, Disc Bite. Thanks, Mike, for putting me out there on tournaments. Thanks for letting me help. Um, really enjoy helping with the disc golf scene. And until next time, keep throwing.